Hey lovely people, I'm in the kitchen. I'm always in the kitchen, but I haven't done a post for a while, so I thought I might say Happy New Year for those of you who follow along to some of my healthy recipes. I appreciate there's a bit of a glare today, but anyway, as I speak you through, I'm sure it's not so important that you see the screen, but knowing what I'm doing, um, that will be something that you could do a bit of prep. And of course, as most people in the start of the year have their New Year's resolution to um, create more healthy habits, I thought of you today. Yes, tons of green, tons of green. This is um, one of my regular recipes, although I haven't done it for a while. And we have been indulging a lot over the last few weeks with parties and social gatherings and enjoying the festive time, which of course is a sometimes um, you, you can eat those things sometimes, but then you, it's, it's time where you say, okay, let's get back in the healthy seat and start building some healthy habits. So I've got some kale from my garden. I was going to make a kale salad and kale chips, but I thought about this recipe that I often do, and that is the um, pesto, uh, pesto dip. You could do it as a pesto and just reduce the amount of nuts you put into this. There's quite a few recipes if you're following along with your Thermomix. Um, and there's also the dip, which is just increasing your cashews. And um, yeah, look, I like to make it as a dip. It's quite concentrated. If you do it as the pesto, you'll be adding just a far larger quantity of greens. So I've got some lovely parsley here from my sister. Thanks, Jodes. She's growing. I haven't had a lot of success with my parsley of late. So I've got a handful of parsley. I've got some basil, which is the traditional basil pesto dip. But I love to just add as much goodness to it as I can. And I've got a handful left of my um, coriander from our chili con carne last night. So there's a handful of that going in. So I've got all the greens prepared. Basically, this recipe is much a template um, of a lot of what we do. I'm going to add some cheese, parmesan cheese. It will take a few grams. This is one clove of garlic, but hey, it's never enough. Three, four cloves of garlic, my style. And we're just going to chop that for 10 seconds. blitzed up. Oh, I can't beat the, the aroma of parmesan and garlic. Maybe just with some rosemary you would have added that extra. Mm -mm. All right, so it's 40 grams of fresh, fresh basil leaves. So I'm going to take it stalks and all, just give it a bit of a chop up. There's still goodness and taste in those stalks, so I hate missing out on those. So this is where you can add lid and put in a few extra things. So I've got my coriander and we will end up with a little bit extra over here. So it just gives you a bit of a rough template. Okay, my 20 grams. Again, take most of your stalks of your parsley because they are quite rough, tough. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this raw kale. So sometimes I put baby spinach in here as well. If you were concerned about your thyroid, maybe you would leave this out. I do have a thyroid butt-kicking pesto recipe floating around somewhere. And um, I do use a stack of greens. And instead of the pine nuts or the cashews I'm going to use here, I've used Brazil nuts before with some pepitas and some sunflowers. So this is really 
um, quite a flexible recipe. Just going to use raw cashews, but of course you could use them toasted as well. Just going to go over as I've gone over with everything else. And we want our olive oil. This is a reason why I don't buy this in the store because you're generally getting canola oil, which if you didn't know the other name for canola is rapeseed. So it's really not a nutritious oil and you don't want to use your seed oils either. So it's really hard to beat good organic olive oil. All right, it says a tablespoon of white vinegar. Um, I usually use my Bragg's, but I've got an Aldi one here at the moment. Or lemon juice. So this is where I've done a bit of a twist up on this recipe is that I've used lime juice sometimes and it just makes for it such a nice little twist of flavor. I think I do enjoy the flavor of the lemon over the vinegar, but they're interchangeable. All right, and my little secret ingredient is some kelp. Now kelp is something that we don't usually use in our diet much. And I'll sometimes put this in my salt grinder and it's very high in iodine which is great something we don't get in our diet much um, and we all need it so there's a little way to sneak in got your jar stuck in the pantry that you haven't used for a while sneak that in I just did about a teaspoon and I always add just just about a half a teaspoon of salt into that as well Okay, now we're just going to, it's a chunky dip, so we're just going to give it a couple of turbo shots. We'll take a peek. Looks good. Get a bit of a, sometimes leaving the spoon in there can just make sure that the top stuff gets moved around. Let's see how four shots look. Look at that. Ta-da! Awesome. I just love the smell of that. So good. And I was just going to make a bit of lunch. And I think sometimes it just even beats or comes close to beating um, avocado smash. You want to do some toast or make some sourdough and some eggs and pop this onto some bread says to transfer immediately, top with olive oil. So just pop it in a jar, top with olive oil. So it will keep it preserved for you in, into the fridge. So hope that's inspired you to go home, go get some greens, go shopping, uh, go to the garden, see what you've got, fossick around and get some healthy things in the fridge this week to help you detox from all that sugar. Enjoy your week and I will be back again.